the search engine google is showing this doodle in some countries on may 30th 2022 for celebrating edmund rostand a new romantic french poet and playwright his most famous work was sirana de bergerac a play about a chivalrous swordsman with an oversized nose the play's sentimental hero plagued by a love triangle went on to symbolize the spirit of the french on this day in 1901, Rostand was elected to the French Academy. Born in 1868 in a southern port city called Marseille, Rostand grew up in a wealthy and cultured family. His father, a poet and an economist, was a member of scholarly societies such as Académie de Marseille and the Institut de France. As a young adult, Rostand attended college Stenslers in Paris where he studied literature, history, and philosophy. By the time he was 20 years old, he had completed his first play, a one-act comedy, called League and Rogue. The play was performed at uh, Colony Theatre in 1888. Although Rostand's first play received little fanfare, it didn't discourage him from continuing to write. A few years later, Rostand created his first uh, successful play, Les Romanescus which was a parody of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. The satirical play follows two families who fake a few to encourage their children to fall in love. When it premiered in 1894, it put Rostand on the map. Les Romanescus became so popular, even outside of France, that it was later adapted to the Fantastics, the world's longest-running musical. Three years after Les Romanescus, Rostand produced his most beloved work, Cyrano de Bergerac in 1897. To this day, Cyrano de Bergerac remains one of the most popular plays in France and people all over the world still seek modern versions of this tale. Today's Google Doodle artwork celebrates Rostand's literary brilliance. More than a century later, his endearing tales continue to be performed and resonate with hopeless romantics all over the world.